aluminum stringers on and I'm starting to cover this is this is the first little piece of fabric I put on put on the inside of the cabin Okay, now I've got the piece on the other side, <clears throat> the piece in front, of, in front of the seats. I'm gluing the fabric down to the top of the fuselage. You got the front glue down, you wrap the, tube, uh, the fabric clear around the tube. Go on, News Talk 1460, KKO. Bottom glued on. This is Rand's Motor Company in Chile. It's 1994, Rand Motor Company. We invite you to stop by. It's covered. I'm ready to shrink the right side here when it has enough time to dry. Okay, the fuselage is covered, prime, the landing gear covered, stabilizers are covered and prime, got the stabilizers, elevator, rudder, landing gear covered, if I tape them tomorrow, stitch and tape tomorrow on those and the fuselage. Bring a Taylor Craft wing to cover. Got the all the other parts covered and taped and primed. <clears throat> now we get. The other wing still up on the wall. Get it down here later this afternoon, maybe. We're dope on. The now, back to where we were. <clears throat> Stopped raining around here. It's been raining for a week now and old clouds and high humidity and so I finally got to uh, put a coat of dope on today. I started sanding here this afternoon and just about got the control surfaces sanded. <clears throat> First coat of dope on it, and I got it sanded. I go in and sand the wings. Hopefully tonight I can finish sanding the wings. I'll make it.
Got the first coat of red on. Let it dry for a day around, then I can sand. And strip using the ordinary paint stripper. <clears throat> and to, to where it looks like it's better metal. Then, this is an acid solution. And this is an etching, an etching process. And what happens is corrosion forms on the metal very rapidly on the surface, uh, surface oxidation. And the surface oxidation will keep the paint and the primer from sticking directly to the metal. And then apply these and rinse off. And then it's been allowed to dry. The water's been allowed to dry out. And then we put this alodyne conversion coating on. Conversion coating temporarily stops the corrosion from reforming on the aluminum until we get the last week. Hopefully I'll get the left door on today.